Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review on how to customize your Android home screen a little bit. So um, the app itself is called iConstructor. So what this does is it allows you to build your own icon packs. So you can customize how your home screen um, icons look and the same thing as far as your app drawer goes as well. So the first thing you'll need, um, you can install a custom launcher before or after you install iConstructor but you will need a custom launcher that supports installing icon packs so in this case I will be using action launcher version 3 so I'm currently on version 3.9.0 beta 14 um, if you're on this version or on a, I think it's more or less in the same place in version 3 but um, if you want to make sure you have the ability to s select a custom icon pack you'll look for something for example in this case to go under display and then you can select icon pack um, you'll see I have one installed that I created from uh, iConstructor, but um, I'll be creating one from scratch um, just as an example of something I, I like and would use and uh, go from there. Um, so once you've got that custom launcher installed, you're all set to go, your settings are all in place, you'll install iConstructor from the Google Play Store. There is a free ad supported version and then a um, a paid pro version which removes the ad. I think it was two dollars and forty nine cents or two dollars and ninety nine cents. So nothing uh, too extravagant, but it is definitely worth the money that you pay for. So when you load the app, you'll get a nice simple layout. So you can have certain presets. So if you want a certain um, icon pack that looks a certain way, then you can select um, that. Uh, for some reason, this app does this where it returns to the main screen. So I'll have to ask the developer about that. Um, you can also import um, files, so if you've saved one before or you got one from somewhere else and you want to use that, you can do that. Um, you have also an overflow menu, so if you want to use a specific icon pack or create a new one um, or request icons or if you want to go back through the tutorial again, then you can do that as well. There's frequently asked questions on how it works um, as far and basically just a frequently asked questions section. A uh, little bit about what who the developer is, the change log, and things like that. So, uh, pretty straightforward app. Um, so from here, we'll go ahead and create a icon pack based on what apps are installed on my device to begin with. So I'll hit the plus icon, and I get a sample of what the icons look like, and then I can adjust the background. So um, if I want to adjust, if I'm doing transparencies or things like that, then I can make those adjustments. Um, so what I'm going to do is a two layer um, setup. So on the bottom layer, what I'm going to do is um, in this case, so we have, for example, the shape of the icon. So if you want a certain um, icon background, you can do things like square, circle, rounded, rectangle. So depending on the look you want. Um, so what I'm going to pick here um, is I'll pick circle in this case. And for the... Um, color of the circle um, you can use create a color based on your hex code or you can use the app color so for example the hangouts icon is green uh, Facebook messenger is blue things like that you can have it automatically detect based on each app so I'll do that and you get a live sample of what that looks like um, and then I'll go to my other layer and the top layer is what you actually see on top So in this case what the icon looks like um, So I'm gonna set the icon size to something that fits a little bit better. So let's say for example 75% that looks a, About right maybe a little bit smaller too small So in this case, I'll upgrade it or increase the size to 80% um, and I'll leave and then you can select a color or you can have a gradient set up if you want um, you can set the uh, icon here if you want to uh, mix and match a little bit so let's say um, you want to do a square in the middle of the icon you can do that just or something generic um, if you want a shadow you can add a shadow on top of, on the icon as well so I'll, let's say so you can see um, adjusting that does it a little bit a um, bit of a shadow there so I'll add a shadow um, you can also set different filters so if you want to do a blur you can do that or if you want to do try a grayscale um, or even a longer shadow then you can do that um, that you can do a punch thing so it adds a transparency so if you have a darker wallpaper then that can work too um, 
there's material lighting, so a little bit of the thing there. I don't see too much of a change here, but I'll keep it um, as is here. Uh, once you're done, if you want to save this, or if you want to keep it as a backup for later, um, then you can hit the save icon at that top right. And in this case, let's say I'll call it material uh, shadow um, circle. Something, basically a general thing of what I did, and I'll hit OK saves it I'm good to go and I'll show you where it shows up on the main app screen in a second um, so from here you'll hit the right arrow and then it'll show you all that icon or apps that are installed on your device and then when you hit the APK button it'll ask you do you want to create an APK you'll hit yes it'll package the icons into its own installable file which will take a second depending on the number of apps you have uh, once it gets through, through the building icon and assigning the APK and all of that stuff, it'll ask you if you want to install it. And in that case, you'll hit install. So um, we'll get to that in uh, just a, half, a quick second. So, um, But that's really the bulk of it. That's actually the hardest part is deciding how you want your icons to look. Um, and you can mix and match as you want, set up different layers. So if you want to circle with the icons with the fade behind them, you can do that or squares and circles whatever combination you want to help you remember kind of what where you want the icons to apply how you want them to apply to which apps you want them to apply you can all do it straight from within this app so now that the APK has been built with the icons I'll go ahead and install it um, and then depending on the speed of your device it'll um, install and then I'll hit done and now when I go back to the main um, home screen and it'll say do you want to close the edit menu you'll hit yes and so now you see on my screen I have material shadow circle it's the icon pack that I just built and then um, if I want to do something like uh, share it then I can uh, share it as well via uh, whatever apps that it supports so gmail drive wherever so if I want to back up to google drive I can do that or just back up to um, Dropbox so if I want to um, restore the same icon pack later then I can do that as well um, so now what I'll do is I'll exit out of the app and apply the home screen so or sorry I apply the icon pack um, so you'll see I have a few icons here these are folders so um, they have different apps going on in behind them as well as a feature of action launcher so now I'll go back into settings display icon pack and I'll select my a custom icon pack and then I'll go back and exit all the way out to the home screen it'll take a second to apply all the icons but as you can see it's now applied it's a circle with the um, the background of the icon or the app shortcut based on the color of that individual app and then the icon itself is black and white with a shadow so whatsapp has a green and white I'm not sure where it's getting the other thing maybe it's part of the transparency where it gets that so Feedly has green so it added that Facebook is um, blue so it did that Instagram has that pink Google Plus is that red same thing with Pocket Cast uh, Amazon Music Pandora is a little, is a little bit weird because it has a black um, icon Google Play Music is orange so it does and the same thing with icon structure it even applies it to the app you created the icon pack from itself so it's a very full featured um, icon builder and definitely worth trying out. So um, it's just another way to easily create your own icon pack and then playing around with it. You'll see like, for example, if you notice that, like for example, if the blue or the black Pandora icon over the black background kind of bugs you, then um, maybe you can exclude it as an um, app that you don't want to have an icon applied to, or if you want to um, create a different way of have a different way of creating a black background like inverting it so having keeping the icon the same but having a black background then doing something along those lines so that's all there is for that so if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com and you can find me on twitter at patel n01 but that's all for this particular review thanks for watching and listening and until next time